Alright, where am I? Oh, there am I. There it is. Ooh, OBS. Okay. You can see everything, right? So, it's fairly simple. This is the interface for OBS. Um, I guess I can turn on the desktop so that's easier to see. So here is... Oh wait, I actually have to show desktop. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, so here is your OBS Studio. Um, it's vastly different. I wouldn't say vastly different. It's a little bit different from your regular OBS. But I like this one better because you can customize a lot more things with it. Trust me, it, it's a lot more customizational. I would say it's like the advanced version of regular OBS. Um, with that said, usually my settings is over here. So if you go to settings, this is what you saw, similar to your OBS, right? So when I have this streamed, this is the settings that I have for 1K at 64 at 160. And notice how it says encoder presets is very fast. So what this means is that if I go ultra fast, the CPU usage would be reduced to like nothing. I mean, but the problem with that is that you will have choppy quality stream because you're getting images that's flying through. So the lower it is, the higher the CPU, but higher the quality of the image because it's taking longer to process and render each image, each frame to the next. So for for the sake of the quality for your the average user that you get from and what I usually get is mobile mobile users. So what that means is that on average you are supposed to use between very fast to faster between these two. Right? So if you want so usually for this I default it to very fast and which is perfectly fine. So what you need to do when you have when you're streaming is that you have very fast this is the settings that you have it's already defaulted so you don't have to do much but the bitrate is defaulted to 2500 change that to 1000 and then just hit apply um reason being is that mobile users do not have the best bitrate or the uh, the download speed as regular uh, viewers, especially when you get viewers from all over the world, and certain viewers there have mobile phones that do not have like 4G LTE or whatnot. They st they're still in 3G, so you want to cater to them too. So the bit rate is at a thousand for that for that for that reason. That way they can watch your stream and view it and enjoy it. Yeah, the, the streaming quality may not be the best, but it, it shouldn't matter if you're entertaining to your viewers. Um, the second thing, let's see here, your video. This actually does matter in the sense that your basic canvas is basically your the, the current screen that you're using. It's, mine is 1080, but I download down resolution it to 720. That actually makes your makes rendering it easier as well. Downscale filtering actually matters as well. Um, it also increases the quality of the image from bicubic or lens low um, samples which means that it for your computer it'll run a little bit more. Um, FPS doesn't matter too too much, especially when you're doing 2D um, stuff. You can actually do it at 60 and it doesn't affect anything, but it does affect um, your the bitrate. So you might drop frame if you increase it to 60 when you're doing it at like 1K bitrate. So keep it at 30. If you're, when you are subscribed, when you have the sub button, 
you want to max out everything as you can as your computer can handle it because they have the ability to change the quality of your stream but since none of us have sub buttons we have to minimize everything so that we get the larger scale of viewers coming into the stream so that they can view it more easily at hand um, advanced doesn't really show much of anything here except for rendering what it what you usually use um, and if you want to save your format and all that stuff easy peasy um, so another thing you want to take a notice is CPU how my CPU is low especially when I'm streaming even if I'm running games I'm usually at that number with 1k resolution and zero dropping frames you want to keep that as low um, there is a setting I don't know how it shows but there's a setting where you can show frames and if it starts to if it just starts to drop then it can tell you that your CPU is too high and you're not dropping frames but you're dropping in frames in general in your stream that is also you need to watch out for um, I wish there was a way for me to look I've been trying to look for it but couldn't find it um, <clears throat> now notice how I have a whole bunch of this right down below so I can do a quick tutorial about that especially how to get that one set it up like this notification here it's fairly easy, especially if you're doing um, Shadowverse streaming. So I'll go ahead and bring mine up really quick. Actually, you can have an imaginary thought. So notice the location of this. This area is usually empty when you're playing Shadowverse, because over here is your is is your opponent's cards just right above that. The the image of the leader image leader here, and then you know the same scenario the two, whatchamacallit, um, play points, right? So when you're streaming and looking for images and you want to customize it to make it look better or whether or not you want to add notification so that you'll know, um, you should have downloaded OBS browser. Like, let me show you the site. So, when you have downloaded it, right, um, that's not it, when you hit the download version, there's the classic version and the studio version. When, when those two open up, there's the OBCLR browser. Always, always, always download browser source. source. It makes your life easier so that you don't have to download separately to add that into your files so that you can use it. I would don't ever download from here because it doesn't have browser source and you need browser source in order to get notification from Twitch alerts and add that in there. So once you've downloaded that and all that, it's already set it up. So what you have to do here is let's say you add that should be the browser source, right? You just click browser source and when that opens, um, this opens up. So notice how it says URL. So in order to get the URL, you would need to go to Twitch Alerts, launch Twitch Alerts. Go, whoa, what? Two followers at nine o'clock in the morning? Two alert box, right? And then it gives you the the URL, right? So again, just Twitch Alerts, log in go all the way down to alert boxes on your left side and my phone's ringing um, and then you can do it two ways you can launch it if you don't have OPS browser but takes up a lot of space and memory usage I don't recommend that just copy minimize this go here paste it and then you know this is this is different this is not the alert box but this is for something else um, but in general, if you paste it here, it should pop up. And all you have to do is just go here, test follower alert, right? And it should show up. Hey, see? 
it shows up. That's how you know it works. Um, you can fiddle with the settings here, but you can go even more um, advanced settings. Like if you hit follow, you can add different images to it. Even some with a green screen or a PNG GIF that works well, and you can add that in there, customize it, do whatever you like. Font settings, changing here and whatnot. Test it, save it, add variation if you want to. Adding variation is like for different you know, theme for every follower so that it uses all these variations to do it. You can test with that. I haven't really done it too much. Um, donations too. You want to do the same thing. Customize it, change it. Do what you can. Um, B3 files and whatnot. Let's see what else do I want. Chat box. So chat box is an interesting thing. So what that does is if you had noticed earlier on the bottom left corner right here is where the chat is. Um, I find that some, some viewers enjoy seeing their own chats onto the stream. But you don't have to do that. It's not necessary. But I use it But for the conveniences of viewing. Um, you want to place it in a corner where it doesn't interfere with the game. The main portion of the game. So you want to go here and then place the viewer box here. Same thing, OBS browser. All you have to do is go to this URL and put that in. Um, what's important is the size of it because it can be a little bit bigger than or not. So you can customize it, make a clean box, whatever what they have. There's other way to customize it too and it gets a little bit more complicated in doing that. Um, I guess I should save that setting. Um, but yeah, fun stuff. Let's see, in Twitch alerts, you can also do event list, which is the same thing that I had, if you had seen it earlier. So, Rizaluna is right here, and all that stuff. So, the whole let everyone know who recently followed, which is a good interaction. It's not a bad one, but it's a good one. Um, again, your URL, so, so again, um, how many how many brow open browsers I have? I have one, two, three, four. Four open browsers. Um, things like that. And all you'd have to do is just placement. Now, for video camera, I don't know if your video camera is a thing. I noticed that your your you have a similar situation where the leader is empty so I made myself a leader um, but it's fairly easy to do the one the board behind me um, radio capture device no. filters turn off camera if you notice the green screen below is actually a poster board 75 cents go to Walmart Go some to cheap convenience store, get like some cheap piece of paper, plaster it on the wall. Um, and yeah, there you go, cheap green screen. That works with you. You don't have to really do much. I have to zoom in my camera a little bit further so that it captures the, the the green screen and my face. But when you do that, if you go to properties, this is for OBS for for regular OBS has does it differently but for re OBS studios you would need to go to filters and then add filter when you add filter you go to chroma keys you go to chroma keys and then it's all you select the color you click the color select the green and then bam pretty pretty simple stuff um, you can change the opacity with it but usually with 100 percent opacity it reduces the green and if you lower it let's say they can slowly see I think the green oh no that's the opacity for me no I was just kidding I was just kidding um yeah that's just the opacity for your video camera um, yeah. 
for for similarity and smoothness and whatnot, this what this all means is just the amount of green that you want to take out. I didn't really have to change too much, but you may have to change it around to make it more optimized and whatnot. So once you have your leader here in the center, you know, you just move it around and whatnot. Um, Uh, for your game though, I don't know if your if your emulator is just the one that's causing the frame lag, but for my case, I use Andy because it uses very little CPU usage. I don't know how Meme Meme works. It has a low CPU rating, but usually when that happens, it's like you know, I it's fairly simple. Um, notice how I don't have any borders on the sides left, right, and bottom. Um, what that means, this is the actual game, but I don't have any borders. So what you could do is that if you go to game capture, um, usually on your right you have the ad, there's a, there's the part where it says game capture. Click on that, there's game capture. Properties, and then this is the property where it finds that usually it's defaulted to window title or class, but for some reason they don't ever find this program. So what you need to do is go to executable name and then refresh it so that it so that Andy console.exe shows up. So this is the amount of exe that's running like tax man tax manager and whatnot. So click on that, Andy. And then it shows everything but the borders outside All right so here's the other part too so notice how that there's no earlier we saw that there's a group black thing at the bottom right so on OBS capture um, there's a filter that I had on it and what the filter does, oh wait, no filter, oh, word, I was just kidding. So apparently, it cuts out the bottom automatically for you. So it just captures the game and not the one at the bottom, so, um, so things like that. makes it easier and I hope hopefully that tutorial understand lets you understand how, how OBS works. Um, especially when you check your files and whatnot and everything. Da 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 Yeah I'm not even supposed to be streaming. Um, but yeah uh, th 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 I'm just gonna do this as an example for how to set up your places of area or interest that your viewers should see when you're playing, especially gameplay, previews and whatnot, especially if you're running mics. You don't have to run mics either. <clears throat> yep, no worries, no worries. Alrighty, so when the game comes in, So notice how, again, I'm in the middle. Okay. So the frame, so when you're looking at your screen and you're looking at OBS, it should look as smooth as it is with your game. And that's the most important thing. If you're frame dropping, or if you're miss missing, or if you're in the game, if you look at your OBS and you're saying it's only going by one image and it skips a lot of image, what usually entails is that your CPU is high. And what you need to do with that is to reduce your CPU, which means closing out programs you don't really need. Um, especially if you're running your thing to very fast already. If it's still lagging, you want to go higher. That or you need to change your 
your um, actual emulator program to something that utilizes less CPU um, to stream it. That's why I choose Andy because it doesn't give a lot of CPU usage and I'm still at 7.4%, 8.5, you know, things like that. Um, so yeah, camera, location, and then leaderboard. Um, note, again, chat is here, the chat is here, and then the notification is up here. And then you have another notification up here, and then usually I have a video over here where the game where the where the game is but you know I, I can't play anything but things like that um, hopefully that helps you if you're interested in putting music like at that corner like that corner over here um, I can show you that as well and let me know how that works I'm probably gonna end up losing. Don't don't ask me why I have flame. This is my flaming glass uh thing. Yeah, I know right. A new haircut. Hey Jeffy Siffy. It's been a while. Uh, what do I even do here? Yo, I'm not even supposed to be playing today. I just wanna go to work soon. Oh wait, can I? Oh, I can't, can I? Yeah, sure, why the hell not? Let's be a scumbag. <laughs> Sucks to be you. If you guys have any question about the streaming thing, let me know. Cause right after this match, I'll probably just end it. If you guys need to check over the bot again, let me know, because it'll be uploaded somewhat. It's not much of a tutorial. Let's see here. I wonder if I can pull Harness Flame in time. Both Harness Flame and Glass by turn 6. No, nope, not gonna happen. Will it happen? Wait, 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 wait. 4. Turn 5, 6. So, no, no, it was not gonna work. It's not going to work. I mean, I could evolve those to go for suicide. Or I could do menu suicide. Well, I need this for sure. Polly has another one in his hand. Wale 
が見えるおばあちゃん悪しきを払い清きを守る Summons two zombies. Zombie gets what? Two two. That's a little annoying. Yeah, this is same with the fun deck, so. I don't even know what to do here, to be honest. You know, that's not gonna even matter. Oh, you're not gonna evolve that. Word. Can they do it in time? No. Oh. So much for flaming glass. <laughs> I almost had it together. I almost had it together. Would have been hilarious. No. Nothing's being played, but I'm just gonna turn on the music temporarily. I know, right? Alright, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, I wasn't even streaming today. And running Satan. What the fuck? <laughs> you have an urge to play Skyrim because of the music. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I'm not even supposed to be done any of this right now but I wanted to help you
Nice leader portrait. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. right now what do you even play this card any evolve animations <laughs> you want an evolve animation from me I can I can think of some no worries oh my god I lost like that shit. Ah. Alright, alright. I gotta go, guys. So, if, the, if you guys are new here, I just suggest you guys send a follow. Let you know when I'm streaming next. I'm, this is off hour streaming right now. So, you know, I have work in like an hour and 30 minutes. I like to get some breakfast. Um, the reason why I was streaming is because I was doing a tutorial about how to stream with Shadowverse. So, if you want to check the back vlog for this so you can see the tutorial, then um, go ahead and do so. It's fairly simple, so I'll check you guys later. I'm streaming today again at 7 p.m. 8 p.m. I don't even know my own schedule. Anyways, yeah, schedule's down below too, so I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.